Hey Soul Fam, Amelia Adir here. I hope you're feeling good and doing good. I'm feeling good. I'm doing good. And you know I got a great topic for you always. For those that are new to the channel, welcome. We welcome you on this channel. We heal. We elevate. And we work on being better versions of ourselves than we was yesterday. And we're going to get into some things, so fam. Y'all know it's heating up. It's a beautiful day. The sun might come shine on us in a little while. But for now, let's get into some things, so fam. Let's walk. Let's talk. Let's elevate. Let's heal that spirit. You know what I'm saying? Let's move those blocks out of our way. Sometimes we have too many blocks in a row. So we can't get to where we got to go. So we're going to talk about it. So fam, stop thinking you have enemies. One more time. Ooh. <laughs> Listen, so fam, let me watch where I'm going. But seriously, stop thinking you have enemies. Oftentimes when situations don't work out with a person, with a relationship, with a family member, we're so quick to think that that's our enemy. Bang. It's just a miscommunication. Okay? And the reason why I say this, and listen, so fam, listen to me clearly, because this is for real. I'm about to walk this way. When you tell your, when you tell yourself, and you tell your spirit, and you tell your God that you have an enemy, you're allowing them to have power in your life. Then, on top of that, you start tra attracting that over and over and over again. Just different bodies, you know. So you want to have that mindset that you don't have enemies. You don't have no one that's out to get you, okay? And even when situations didn't work out, I promise you, so fam, it was just a miscommunication. Somebody didn't say what they could have said. Someone had too much pride. Someone had a bigger attitude. Someone had a big, who knows? All that's important is moving forward when you're forgiving and you're healing and you're working on being a better version of yourself, the best thing you can do is let that go let that go with the grace that this person was not trying to get me see sometimes we we're trying to elevate and we're trying to play cautious and we're trying to watch our back and watch our shoulder and we're trying to do God's job but you don't have to do his job you know how to do his job good real good okay is let me walk over here so the noise isn't loud. I'm walking. I had this power walk on. I've been trying to come to a quiet area, but everyone want to do stuff today. I had someone fixing the pool over there. What's that? I had someone just cutting the grass. It must be that day because it's not so hot. So everyone's like, ooh, let me get outside and do some good stuff. But anyway, you don't want to have that mindset that someone is trying to stop you right when you are growing spiritually and you trust your work and you trust your god and you are confident you don't have to be thinking in the back of your mind oh someone's gonna try to stop me someone's gonna try to get me someone's in my bushes someone's because then you're creating that then someone is gonna come in your bushes and and, and even so so fam even if the haters exist, even if the enemies exist, you don't want to feed them no energy whatsoever. We don't want to pay no mind to that. We want to be on our P's and Q's. We want to know what's up. We want to be able to discern and things like that. But you don't have to be searching for it. You don't have to be waiting for it. You don't have to be looking for it. It's going to be loud and clear. It's going to be loud like that. You're going to be chilling in peace. And then they're gonna start just rah, 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 rah. you're gonna be like, oh, first of all, first of all, something's happening, something's happening. You're gonna know. Your spirit is gonna let you know. So don't be paying mind to it. Don't be trying to understand it. Don't be trying to soak into it. Don't be nothing. And when someone does something to you, meaning like something goes left or something goes wrong, and if you have to check that person, check that person if they're not worth checking we have to we have to be so good at letting things go because when you don't let it go you'll be 10 years down the drain 
10 years down your path and not to show up. You'll be like, I was holding on to that. I was holding that grudge. I was upset about that. That hurt my feelings. You have to stop letting it hurt everything hurt your feelings. Sometimes we are super sensitive and we're allowing our, we're causing our own pain to be worse than what it really is. You know what they say? I'm rubber, I'm, I love that. We forget about those little old sayings. I'm rubber, you're glue. Whatever you say bounces off of me and sticks on you, right? So when people are coming at us and oftentimes they're just saying you're this and saying you're that, sometimes you have to say, look, I, I'm confident with the work that I'm doing. Don't try to push your insecurities onto me. Don't try to push your doubt onto me. Because sometimes, so fam, you got to understand this. That not everybody, as we know, has pure intentions, right? And when someone is trying to manipulate you and get whatever it is that they want out of you, for whatever reasons, they're going to try to push you down with their words, right? They're going to try to push you down and say things like you're insecure or they're going to just say things like just negative things that you know you're not. You know you've been working on it. You know you've been talking and having those coaching sessions. You know you've been reading the books you need to read. You know you've been watching these videos and clearing up that those old wounds. So you know, okay, I'm not jealous. I'm not competing. I'm not angry. I don't have enemies. When you have that clear mindset, that clear heart, that clear conscience, you you walk in a room differently. You show up to work differently. You show up to problems differently. Because you're not analyzing it from a bitter place. You know, you're not analyzing it from trying to be FBI detective. You're not operating from that space. You're operating from a whole different space. Somebody over there with all that BS, you over here in Zen like this. So you see more of the truth. You see more of what it is. You're not so quick to react negatively. You're not so quick to be hurt. You're not so quick to be victim. You're not so quick to overreact when something just don't go your way or someone does something that's not tasteful. And instead, you're a little bit more bolder and you're like, don't say that. You're more correcting. And not in a not in a way where it's like I'm always right, you're always wrong, but just in a simple situation where you can have an a converse, where you can have a conversation with an adult. It's like two adults that could have a conversation when we don't agree. We're not gonna always agree with everything that everyone does. And so fam, that's okay. That's okay. Let's go this way, something. Let's get into some things. Thought the sun was gonna come shine on us, but honestly, I like this lighting. It's good. It also brings me to. I, I meant to say this in the beginning, but I'm gonna share a poem with you um, today. I was gonna go and and do it like I usually do, but it's the holidays. I'm chilling. I'm chilling, Mac the villain. So I am going to share a poem with you later on that does relate to this topic. Um, but so, fam, going out there and growing and elevating and healing and doing the things that you know you have to do, don't be thinking about no enemies. Know that enemies don't exist. Even when things go wrong, miscommunication. We're not on the same frequency. We're not on the same vibration. 
We don't have the same mindset. Order, water or order. <laughs> water and oil don't mix. And when you walk away from people, when you walk away from jobs, when you walk away from family, when you walk away from situations, do not walk away with anger. Do not walk away thinking they're out to get you. Do not walk away thinking you did everything correct and you're just the, the perfect person in the world. Walk away with the lessons. Walk away with sometimes things happen that we don't expect. Sometimes we don't be ready. Sometimes, Sophia, things will happen real quick. You know what I'm saying? Like you won't even be thinking about it or you'll be in your, on your own bubble. And things will happen real quick. And the sun is coming out. Sometimes we just wasn't ready. Life isn't always a script. Life is not always a script. So we have to just move forward and attract better. Move forward, communicate better. L number one, so then we have to be communicating better. We have to be communicating how we really feel. When someone asks, how are you? If it's been in the back of your mind that they hurt your feelings or they whatever, say it right then and there. Say it right then and there. Be Speak up for yourself. Trust, trust the way you feel. And if that's how you perceive something, express it. Like, I perceive this this way. And I perceive this this way. And how can we tackle this situation? How can we work more as a team? Even in relationships, old fam, we're not... learning how to be a great team player we think like i don't need you i don't need you i don't need you i don't need you okay we know we don't we don't need anybody that's a given but let's be real it's so much more fun to go out with some loyal friends and have a great time have someone take your picture then you'll be sitting there trying to take the selfie at dinner by yourself at the you know what I'm saying like it feels good to have a partner it's nice let's act, let's act like it's not nice it's good to have a friend and it's good to grow with people with honesty grow with respect don't be trying to just get what you can get from somebody oh we're gonna go right here i forgot about this spot because i could do my poem right here <laughs> i'll be having little spots where i go and chill don't be stalking me something anyway so let's do this poem it's called enemy and i was trying to think i was like when did I write this poem? Where was I? I cannot. It's on, it's in my book, 77 Pieces of Poetry. And I cannot recall what inspired it or whatever. But as I read the poem, I was like, well, it's obvious. So I probably turned my camera because I'm going to probably clip this onto a short. But let me see. Let me. So welcome me over here, Sophie. Let's get it. Oh yes, let's pop out, pop out, pop out with the pop out, let's see, this is what I be doing before so at least y'all can kind of be behind the scenes with me, low key, perfect sun, enemy, let's get it. It goes like this. 
Black girl, black boy, I am not your enemy. Look into your heart, you'll start to see a friend in me. You are not alone, so you act aggressively. Stop playing my games. I know this instantly. I remember being you in pain constantly, often rejected. But hey, that's history. History telling you we must fight. We must compete to live right. Competing for money, men, jobs, and women. Why compete, baby? We can all win. There's enough for you. There's enough for me. Black boy, black girl. Hey, I am not your enemy. I am not your enemy. Look into your heart. You'll start to see the friend in me. You are not alone, so you act aggressively. Stop playing my games. I know this instantly. I remember being you in pain constantly, often rejected. But hey, that's history. History telling you we must fight. We must compete to live right. Competing for money, men, jobs, and women. Why compete, baby? We can all win. There's enough for you. There's enough for me. Black boy, black girl. I am not your enemy. Mm-hmm. Yes, so fam. Don't forget to check out AmeliaOnlineAcademy.com and see where it is in your heart that you need some healing. There's a free guide available. And if you ever want to book a session with me, my details are always below. Check out Amelia Online Academy. Book your session with me today. And in order to be a part of the soul fam, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and apply the knowledge. Applying the knowledge is key. If you really want to see things start to shift and grow into your life, thank you guys so, for so much for tuning in. For those that are new to the channel, again, welcome. We welcome you with open arms. I hope this video brings you some peace, some love, some peace some love and some clarity within as you move forward as you start to grow as your spirit starts to live as you start to walk into a more fruitful path as you start to elevate as you start to heal if you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. all right soul fam amelia adir here thank you again for tuning in and i'm gonna see you at the next one bye for now